Hi everybody, I have a special surprise for you today. This is my Panther Chameleon Millie. Hi everybody. And why am I showing you Millie today? Well, it's because I'm reading you this book, Animals That Change Color. And there is a Panther Chameleon on the cover of this book also. And we're gonna talk about why and how animals change color. Let me put Millie back in his cage real quick. Hold on. All right, so animals that change color. This is another National Geographic kids book by Libby Romero. Animals that change color. Here's the table of contents. Some of the things that we'll be going over today include living colors, changing moods, um, hidden colors, and you are what you eat. These all sound interesting. Living colors. Some animals can change color almost like magic. It can happen in an instant or it can take years. Sometimes the change is dramatic, other times it's gradual. How do they do this and why? If you want to know, keep reading. This is an adult Atlantic puffin and this is a young Atlantic puffin. Their face colors are different. Changing moods. When chameleons like Millie, moods change, the colors of their skin change too. How does this happen? Chameleons have some skin cells that absorb certain colors. Other cells act like tiny mirrors to reflect certain colors. When a chameleon is excited, its skin stretches. Some skin cells move, others change how they reflect light. When the chameleon's colors change, when the animal relaxes, the cells change back to the way they were. This panther chameleon is feeling calm. When it gets excited, its green skin patches turn bright yellow. Cells are the building blocks of living things like plants and animals. To absorb means to take in and to reflect means to bounce back. Changing seasons. In the Arctic, some animals are brown in the summer, but they grow new white fur or feathers in the winter. Why? These animals change color with the seasons. Here's an Arctic fox. Can you find the Arctic fox in this picture? It has a white winter coat of fur. Days get shorter as summer turns to fall and then winter. This tells the animal's bodies it's time for a white coat. Where do Arctic animals keep their money? In a snow bank. Changing coats is a form of camouflage. It helps them blend in with their environment. Camouflage means colors or patterns that help something blend in with its environment. Can you find these animals in their summer and winter coats? This is a willow ptarmigan. This is a long-tailed weasel, and this is a peri caribou. Look at the different colors. Growing up. Scientists think a baby silvered leaf monkey's bright fur may help it, its mother keep track of it. It also lets other monkeys know that it is a baby. Some animals change color as they get older. When silver-leafed monkeys are born, they have orange fur and light-colored skin. After a few days, their skin turns black. In three to five months, they grow dark fur with silver tips like the adults. It takes about two years for baby swans' gray or brown feathers to turn white. Believe it or not, Dalmatian puppies are born all white. Dark spots form in their fur 
After a few weeks, a Dalmatian spots start to show when the puppy is about two weeks old. The baby harp seal's furry coat keeps it warm and provides camouflage in the snow. This is the baby tapir. It has white stripes and spots to help it blend in with the forest floor. Baby harp seals are white too, and as they grow, their fur turns gray and then gets dark spots. Tapirs do the opposite. As they grow older, their patterns disappear. How can you find a Dalmatian in a crowd? Don't worry, they're easy to spot. Six cool color changes. Changers. Number one, cells in a peacock flounder's skin are somehow connected to its eyes. The brown fish changes to match the color it sees. If a flounder loses its sight, it can't change color. Hmm. Number two, East Pacific Red Octopus. Cuttlefish, octopuses, and squid all change color. They match with their background within seconds, even though they are colorblind. Number three, when a flamingo's feather falls out, the feather slowly loses its pink color. Number four, white-banded crab spiders are white, but when females move to yellow flowers to hunt, they become yellow in just three days. If they move to a white flower, they turn white again. Forget about blending in. Number five. Chameleons flash bright colors when they want to defend territory or attract mates. Number six. Seahorses are so good at camouflage that scientists have a hard time telling one kind from another. Hidden colors. Some animals keep their colors hidden until the time is just right. The male superb bird of paradise is mostly black, but he has shiny blue feathers on his breast and head. When a possible mate is near, he puts on a show. He flips his feathers to make a blue and black smiley face. <laughs> the male superb bird of paradise has blue feathers on his chest. And when a mate is near, he rolls his back neck feathers forward like a cape behind the blue feathers below. What kind of bird is always sad? A blue bird. This blue morpho butterfly's wings can be up to eight inches across. It is one of the biggest butterflies in the world. The blue morpho butterfly has hidden colors too. Its wings are brown on one side and bright blue on the other. On the ground, when the butterfly closes its wings, it looks like a brown leaf. But when it flies, its wings flash blue and brown. That makes the butterfly seem to disappear in the sky. Hide and seek. The liquid inside the shell makes this beetle look golden. Ooh. Sometimes changing colors help animals hide right in front of predators. The golden tortoise beetle has a see-through shell with grooves that hold liquid. The liquid helps give it a golden look. If a hungry animal comes near, the beetle drains the liquid. The predator sees the red body under the beetle's shell. Now, the beetle looks like a poisonous ladybug. It fools the predator. The predator, the word predator, means an animal that hunts and eats other animals. This golden tortoise beetle has drained the liquid from its shell. This is a cuttlefish. Cuttlefish can change colors and patterns to match their environment. Mimic octopus copying a sea snake. Ooh, this is a mimic octopus. And the mimic octopus can copy the color and shape of a lot of things in its environment, like a stingray or a deadly sea snake. Cuttlefish have millions of color cells in their skin. When a predator is near, the cuttlefish, cuttlefish squeezes and relaxes muscles around the cells. This changes how the cuttlefish looks. 
The mimic octopus changes color the same way, but it is also a master shapeshifter. It uses color, shape, and behavior to fool pe predators. You are what you eat. Different species of flamingos can be shades of pink, red, and even orange. The healthier any flamingo in the wild is, the brighter its colors will be. Few animals are as famous for their color as the pink flamingo, but pink isn't the bird's true color. Flamingo chicks have gray or white feathers. It takes two years for their feathers to change. The algae and shrimp they eat turn their feathers pink. So take a look at the baby flamingo. It's white. And then after it eats all the colored food, it turns pink. Eating red berries makes parts of a yellow sh shafted northern flicker's wings turn red. And here's the joke. What do flamingos score when they play soccer? Flaming goals. Another kind of animal fa famous for its borrowed colors is the nudibranch. Hmm. Its body absorbs and then shows the colors of the animal as it eats. This lets it hide among its prey while it feeds. Aeolid nudibranch. Not out all animals can change color, but for those that do, changing color can be the key to survival. As this Dorid nudibranch eats a red sponge, it absorbs the red color and turns red itself. And that's it. I hope you really liked this book. I did because I learned about why my chameleon changes colors. And I hope you're all doing well at home. Um, I will read some more books for you this weekend and next week, but we are still going to be at home until May 1st, if you haven't heard the announcement yet. I know it's going to be a long time, but stay strong. Keep yourself busy, keep being nice to each other, exercise, stay clean, and try to have fun. Bye.